More tragic developments after a violent crash in northwest Harris County. We have learned that another child has now died. That is three children and their mother killed in a multi-vehicle accident. And investigators say a drunk driver is to blame. Daniel Canada facing several charges tonight. KPRC2's Devin Clark is live where that crash happened at FM 2920 in Gosling Road. Devin, this is a family tragedy here. Christine, we were kicked off of the property since our last report aired, but I can tell you, and I'll ask my photographer to zoom in a bit, to right across the street where that memorial continues to grow. We saw people kneeling there just a few moments ago. There are stuffed animals and flowers all just a few yards away from that intersection where a family was destroyed. Officials say it's all because someone decided to get behind the wheel drunk. I'm in loss of words. It was not easy for people who work in the area to hear about what happened at the intersection of FM 2920 and Gosling around 8.30 last night. We had a vehicle traveling westbound on FM 2920 with a mother and uh, three children in the vehicle. It was struck from behind by another vehicle of a suspected impaired driver. The mother's vehicle burst into flames. The 28-year-old and her three children, ages seven months old, two years old, and five years old, were killed. Kate Garcia, who was driving home in the area and had to be redirected because of the crash, says she hopes that this serves as a reminder to not drive while intoxicated. If you're intoxicated with anything, please call someone, a friend, family, always call an Uber driver. Investigators identified last night suspected impaired driver as 35-year-old Daniel Canada, seen here in a mugshot from a previous arrest. We have coordinated with our district attorney's office. They have accepted multiple counts of intoxication manslaughter. Right now, many are offering condolences for the family that lost their lives. Everyone should feel hurt for this family right now. So please send prayers out to them just to keep that family strong. Hope that child pulls through, pulls through on that life support because something like this should not happen to anyone. County Sheriff's Office has now confirmed that Canada was pulled over for speeding about 20 minutes before the crash. Some suspected marijuana was confiscated and sent in to be tested, but Canada was let go after the deputy said he did not seem to be impaired. For now, reporting live in spring, Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News.